Hello, New Life Austin. It is time for us to come back to church. I know you're excited about this. I'm very excited about this. And so we will resume in-person worship services on Pentecost Sunday. That's May the 31st. We will have two services in the morning. There'll be a 930 service and an 1130 service. The 930 service is for families whose last name begin A through K. The 1130 service is for families whose last names are L through Z. And so we're very excited. We want you to come. There will also be our online service. The time will change slightly. It will be 1130. So online is at 1130. We'll follow this format through June. We'll probably make some adjustments. We'll make some changes. But we're going to do this through June and see if we can get to the next phase of where we're headed with all of this. This is New Life Austin's phase one. Now, I want to say the CDC and governor's offices have recommended that seniors and those with underlying health issues take extra precautions. If you are not comfortable coming at this time, we understand. Please stay home, take care of yourself, make good decisions for your family, for your health, and watch our online service. We leave this choice up to you, and we want you to be safe. Here are a few things you can do before you come. First of all, register. Now, this is not absolutely necessary, but we are asking you to do this for us as a favor. We will be sending an email in a day or so, and we're asking that you click the registration button to let us know you're coming. This will help our staff prepare for you, make sure that we have plenty of room, and make sure that your experience here at New Life Austin on that first day back is as comfortable as possible. The second thing is to assess yourself and your family. If you are sick, if you have a fever, if you have any symptoms of sickness, please stay home. We want you to be well, and we want the rest of our church to remain safe. If you have been around someone who has a confirmed diagnosis of COVID-19, we also ask you to stay home for the recommended quarantine time. Also, one thing you can do before you come is go to the restroom. We will have restrooms available, but they will be limited, and so we encourage you to go to the restroom before you come just to make things simpler on yourself. While you're here, there are a few things that we can all do together that will make this a seamless worship service and we'll have a great time together. Number one, a hand wave is adequate. You don't have to touch and it's okay. You don't have to shake someone's hand or definitely hug someone. And I want you to know that that's okay, that if you just give a, a nice hand wave, everyone will be fine and we'll understand. Sit with your family or with the person or persons with whom you rode to church. Please stay together as a family unit. Children should stay with their parents at all times. Every other row will be reserved, blocked off, to allow us to have proper distancing. Also, we're asking that there be three empty seats between family units or those who rode together to church. Every other row will be blocked, distance between every family. We want to make sure that there's plenty of room for you to be safe. As you go about the campus, we ask that you maintain six feet distance between you and other people as you are going through the building to the restroom, entering, exiting the building to the parking lot. You're welcome to wear a mask. The CDC and governor's office recommends it. We leave that to you and we encourage you to do that if you feel comfortable doing that. We will take an offering, but it will be a little different. First of all, I wanna encourage you to continue giving online or mailing in your offering as you have been. That is the easiest way for the church, and it's the safest way right now during this situation. However, those of you that choose to bring your offering, we will have a receptacle by the door when you leave. You can drop your offering in the receptacle labeled offering on your way out the door, and we'll be glad to receive it that way. When you get ready to leave, things might be a little different then as well. Church will be dismissed by row. And so at the end of our service, we're encouraging you to listen for the instructions and we will dismiss you by row, again, for your safety and for the safety of others. This also helps us get the traffic in and out of the building because we have to sanitize the entire building after each service. This will allow our staff to have the adequate time and resources to do what we need to do to ensure your safety and the safety of those that come after you. Upon dismissal, we ask that you proceed to your car and have a good day worshiping the Lord. I know that you're going to leave excited. You're going to leave with a lot of faith and encouragement. 
We will have evangelist Landon Gore with us, and we're believing God for strength, for renewal, and for someone to receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. And don't forget, wash your hands often, don't touch your face, cover your coughs and sneezes. New Life, we'll see you Sunday, Pentecost Sunday. God bless you. Let's see what the Lord will do.